Leo, just look at this. It's time for our Bible story. It's Sunday afternoon Bible story time. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. Yes, sir. I've got my story ready. And that means I'm ready because you're the one pulling the strings. Oh, let's see. Let's see. We're going to sing uh, the theme song. Yes, we need to sing our theme song today. This gospel train is chugging up the track. Chugging up the track. It's chugging up the track. This gospel train is chugging up the track. Chugging to the glory of the land. Yes, Chesley, that's truth. This gospel train is chugging toward the glory land. And we're so glad that we can serve the Lord, love him. And you know, I can tell these stories and I can get kids that are thinking about Jesus. That's right, thinking about Jesus and, and working for him and loving him. You know, being your parents and your teachers and getting your lessons. Yeah, getting those lessons. That's right, Chesley. Oh, Chesley, let's tell our get our story going here today. It is from it, it's in the book of Acts. It's is that correct? Yes, the book of Acts, chapter twenty seven and twenty eight. No, oh, it's gonna be about a shipwreck. Gonna be about a shipwreck. That's right, Chesley. And the name of our lesson today is off course but victorious no oh, you know what this is a, a guy on a ship and it was just just terrible he was yes he was on a ship that had a wreck and it was really terrible you know i thought he was a good man yes he was a good man and, and, and did they think that the devil was entering you know there were some people that did feel like if the, if there was a prisoner on the ship and if it wrecked or something they felt like that it was, you know, the, that that was the judgment on him. Did you know some, what it is sometimes? Well, what is it sometimes, Chesley? Well, it, it's a Satan trying to kill him. That's right. In this case, I believe Satan was trying to kill the Apostle Paul. And you know why? He didn't want him to preach the gospel. That's right. He did not want him to preach the gospel. And the Apostle Paul, let's just find out why he was even on that on that ship, what had happened? Yeah, you know, I don't know what the preacher getting in trouble. A preacher got in trouble. That's right, he did. Chesley, he didn't do anything wrong. He was preaching the gospel. And then some people agreed with it and some didn't. And because he said that Jesus rose from the dead. That's right. They just didn't think that Jesus would rise from the dead. They didn't think that was possible. And so that's what Paul was preaching, that Jesus was the Son of God. Anyway, Chesley, the way this happened, what the name of our story is today is Off Course but victorious. You know, how do you get on, of course? Well, we're going to talk about that, Chesley. You know, uh, the Apostle Paul was obeying the Lord exactly what he felt like the Lord wanted him to do. And how did he know what God wanted? Did he talk to God? Yes, he did. He talked to God. He, he loved the Lord and served him. And he was dishonoring the Lord everywhere there was people. And that's what he was going to do, telling them Jesus. He was so happy to know Jesus. He had changed his life. And he wanted everybody to have that opportunity. So he'd tell them about it. So wherever he went, and sometimes he wound up in jail. That's right, he wound up in jail. And so did he shut his mouth? No, he didn't shut his mouth. He just thought, well, I'll tell them about Jesus. They can't. They're just like me. They can't go anywhere. And so he would tell them, you know, if there was people, he thought he needed to talk to them about Jesus, just like Jesus. He was just being like Jesus. He wanted to spread the good news that God is love, and he was love. He was the Son of God. So, Chesley, here the time is that the Apostle Paul, he's been preaching, and he winds up now going to have to go all the way to Rome. Oh, to Rome. And the Lord, ooh, ooh. Well, he was going to have to go now before here it was uh, the the Caesar, I mean the the top person, the main one, you know, like the president, like the president. Oh my! And it was like a frightening thing because he wasn't a Christian. He was not a Christian. But you know what? The Apostle Paul. Look, just a minute. I, I got a question here. What's your question? Why, did, why is this happening? I thought if he's a Christian, God had another plan. Well, you know, Chesley, the Apostle Paul was honoring the Lord, and he was preaching the gospel, and the Lord does want him to preach, but he doesn't always, you don't see every detail along the way. Uh, do you mean like it's going to be a detour? Uh, like might be a detour, or it might be something unplanned, and, 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 you know, like this, you know, like this. So he's on the ship, he's doing nothing wrong, and yet he's having to go before uh, going to go before the Caesar. He's going to have to go there, and he's going to have to present his case. And he's going to talk about Jesus. He's going to talk about Jesus. That's exactly He's going to talk about Jesus. Well, anyway, Chesley, as they were going along, they hadn't been going. In fact, as they headed out, the Apostle Paul, he said to the captain of the ship, he said to the pilot and the captain, he said to those in charge, he said, you know what? 
this is not a good time of the year to be traveling. And, and what they tell him, you don't know what you're talking about. Hey there, and then we're the sailors, you're the prisoner. That may be what they thought. We're the sailors, and we're wanting to get out of here. There's another port we want to go to. We like it better than this. And so they didn't listen to the Apostle Paul. No, I think he should have listened because I think he's God's man. He's God's man, and God has a plan for him. You know, Chesley, sometimes we get, we get in, into some situations not because we did wrong, but because the people we're with make wrong choices. They make wrong choices. But God knows, and he honors us. Because we do his plan. And so the Apostle Paul knows this is not a good choice, but he's going to be faithful. He did, I, don't, I don't think he got in and threw a fit. He did not throw a fit. He didn't throw a tantrum. He didn't throw a tantrum. He didn't do that. He didn't go down and pout. He didn't say, God, you're not fair to me. Yeah, it's not fair, and I'm just going to quit preaching. He didn't. That's right. He didn't say, I'm going to just gonna quit preaching, Lord, because it's the way it's going to be. Well, Chesley, did you know what? While they was on that ship, they hadn't been going very long, and so they stopped and said, all right, now let's head out again. Paul said, we better not. They wanted to go, and as they got out there, Chesley, it wasn't there very long until all of a sudden, here came a horrible, the winds began to, it was awful, and it, it didn't stop again. It was a hurricane. It was a hurricane. The wind was blowing from all the directions. It was awful. And the Apostle Paul said, I warned you about this. But, and so he had been praying and seeking God. And, and so you know what I think Satan wants to kill him. I really believe Satan wants to kill him too. He thought if I can just get rid of this preacher man, I don't want him telling these people about Jesus because he wants them to be lost just like him. He didn't want them to hear. That's right. And the Apostle Paul, he didn't get mad and sulk and pout. Instead, he said, I get to tell these people about Jesus. And that he's supposed to go, he's supposed to go to Rome. He's supposed to go to Rome, yes. And that's where the Lord wants him to go. And he's now he's off course. Because there's this horrible hurricane, and they're going here and there. You know, it's getting scary. Yes, Chesley, you settle down here. Well, I'm in a storm. <laughs> yeah, you're in a storm, and it was really, it's messing up my hair. It's messing up your hair. Well, we'll have to take care of your hair later, but right now, Chesley, you know, we've got this hurricane that's going on. The Apostle Paul, now he knew he loved God, and God loved him, was taking care of him. He knew God wanted him to go to Rome, and he didn't know about this thing. No, he didn't know this was going to happen. Then I know who did, God did. God knew all about it. And so the Apostle Paul, he's busy talking to the Lord. He's praying. I sure would have then. You wouldn't have heard me stopping. I didn't see the Lord getting you out of this jam. Yeah, he, well, he probably didn't enjoy being in this jam because, you know, he was in it with him. Yes, he was. He was going through the same thing everybody else was. But the difference was he knew that God had a plan. He didn't know if he's going to live. He did not know right then if he was going to survive this. But he did know this. He could talk to God and he could be a blessing to these people while he was here. He's going to be nice to them and they're not being nice to him. They might not have been being nice to him, but he was going to be like Jesus. And you know what, Chesley, when it's all said and done, he was like the captain of the ship because they realized this man had a calmness. And you know what, I think it was Jesus. It was Jesus giving him a peace and a quietness. He was just as calm as he sought the Lord. And did you know what? The angel of the Lord appeared to him. No! Oh, right, right, right there in the ship. He was there in that storm. Right in the storm, the angel of the Lord spoke to him and said, You are going to make it to Rome. But right now, this is where he was. And so while he was here, where there was people, he was going to be talking to dead Jesus. That's it. Where there was people, he knows that God's there. And he said, He loves people. And so do I. And so he's going to preach the truth. And so he just settled them all down. He said, well, the angel, he said, you know, I love the Lord. And his angel has stood by me tonight. <laughs> and they said, where's an angel? We didn't see it. He may not have seen the angel. They didn't see the angel. But he said, I sensed his presence. And he spoke to me. And I know we're going to be all right. Everybody is going to survive. <laughs> and they're off course in having victory. Off course. And they're having a victory party. Off, they weren't, but he was. There, it was off course, but he thought, God knows right where we are. These sailors don't know where we are. And he might have thought, I don't know where we are. God does. God does, and we're safe. Oh, Chesley, it came time, though, as they went along and finally, finally after days, no, oh, and this storm finally quit. 
that storm finally, finally subsided. Oh, I think, you know, did they eat? Those people hadn't eaten in so long. And the Apostle Paul said, we have to eat. He said, you got to get your strength up. You know, they, they felt like eating. They were seasick. They probably were very seasick. But now, he said, you've got to settle down. We're going to be okay. They ate. They did. They, they managed to eat. They probably wasn't very calmed down. They, 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 they was hungry. and You know, I think they believed him. By now, they were looking to Paul. They thought, we don't know what this man's got. We don't know who it is he's talking about. But Paul was telling them the truth about Jesus. And finally, they realized as they got caught, and they realized as the wind was, you know, it wasn't completely all calm. And they finally, they made it down. And he said, you know, the ship is going to be, and they said, we're, we're almost to land. We're, we're, we're going to run into something. And the apostle Paul said, we're going to be okay. He said, yes, that's what, we're going to be okay. The Lord has told me that nobody can leave the ship. You have to stay with the ship. You know, I think some of them tried to get away, didn't they? Yes, there was. And some of them said they pretended like they was going to do something with the anchor, and instead they was trying to get to the lifeboats and get away. <laughs> oh, and Paul said, you can't do it. That's exactly what he said. He said to the captain, they can't leave. Everybody said, the angel has spoken to me. And the Lord, he's the Lord's angel, and said, everybody will be safe, but they have to stay with the ship. And so everybody stayed with the ship, even when it hit the ground it began to break apart. And they grabbed the boards and away they went. But yes, they grabbed hold of a board and they went safely to shore. But Chesley, that wasn't all. And now they had cannibals. No, there was no cannibals. Instead, it was really friendly island people. Oh, they were so good to them. They helped Paul and all of these people here now. I think he was his friends. I believe they was friends with Paul now. They realized this man's got, he's got a peace and a quietness. Oh, in the middle, he's, and here we are off course and we don't even know where we are. And they, oh, yes, oh, you're, well, this, this is the land of Malta. This is where you are. Oh, and everything is fine here. You know, no storm there. And then, you know, Chesley, the Lord had a miracle ready for Paul. And he got to do one. Well, he didn't plan on this one because as they was building a fire, because it was cold, building them a fire, there was this a little snake come out. And it came out of there and it bit Paul. Oh, no, it's going to kill him. You know, Chesley, that's exactly what the devil wanted to kill him. Satan didn't want him to go preach the gospel here or anywhere else. And he sure didn't want him going to tell, he didn't want him to go to Rome. He sure didn't want him to do that and talk to the Caesar. Well, what happened though? God healed him. <laughs> healed him. And he didn't hit him. Because God is a healer. And those people there on that island, they were shocked because they had never seen anybody live that was bit by that type of, by that type of, of a viper, that snake. They would die very shortly. And you know what they thought? What did they think? They thought he was a God. They did. That's right, Chesley. They thought he was a God. No, no, don't worship me. He said, it's the one true God that did the healing. And they realized this God that we can't see, but he's telling us about, we believe him. And what, Chesley, what about other people on the island? I know what they did. There was a really a sick man on that island, and he, he went and hurt him. That's right. The Apostle Paul, when the word came to him that the leader on our island is very, very sick, and he went there to his place, of say, uh, his house that he lived in, and prayed for him, and the Lord healed him. They began to bring others. You know what I'm seeing? Hell night. Of course, the victorious. He, it wasn't planned. It wasn't the schedule. It wasn't the way it was supposed to be. And Paul didn't know about it, but Paul, God knew about it all along. He just didn't tell Paul all the details. Oh, it was kind of a surprise. It was a surprise. He got to start a church. He was there for three months before they, they left that island. There was another ship there that was going to Rome, and Paul did get to go to Rome where the Lord wanted him to go. How in the world would, would that there, the, the Caesar there would he have ever heard about the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. How could Paul have gotten there? I know how it happened. Just like this. Just like this. It wasn't what Paul had planned, but God knew this was a way to get him there. And so Satan got beaten. Satan got beaten because the apostle Paul was faithful. He didn't gripe and complain, but he was victorious even when he was off course. And look at all the people he blessed. 
It wasn't the way planned, wasn't the way uh, the course they'd planned, the route they'd planned, off course, but he had victory all along the way because he kept his faith and confidence in God. And you know what that means? We can do the same thing. You kids can do it in adults too. That's right. Everybody can do it. Be faithful and true to God. So when things are not the way you planned, remember, God still can heal you. God still can. Off course, but be victorious. Remember to keep your faith in God and smile. Be sure. Yes, and smile and whistle. Yeah, whistle. Have you ever heard, heard anybody whistle that was sad? Anybody I ever heard whistle, they were happy people. And so, is it in God's Word? I never read about it in God's Word, but I've just noticed people that whistle are happy people. So, Chesley, as Christian people, we should be happy. I don't know how to whistle. And I don't know how for you to whistle either. There's no string for that. No, I have a string for you to talk, but I don't know anything about the uh, the whistling. So, you just can't whistle. And, but right now, you need to go to bed. What? What? What you say? You know what I said, Chesley? It's bedtime. Oh, I don't see it. Well, Chesley, we're upstairs now, and your bed is downstairs. Oh, I might fall. No, you won't fall going down. I'll take you downstairs. Tell everybody goodbye, guy, and you'll see them. What did you say? Good one, good, good one. Well, goodbye is what I was trying to say. It's a goodbye, and you're going to say goodbye to everybody, and you'll see them next Sunday afternoon, the Lord willing, somewhere around 4 o'clock. Uh, going to church tonight? No, Chelsea, you're not going to church tonight. You're going to say goodbye to everyone. Oh, okay. Goodbye, everyone. That I hate this. Chesley, you should not be grumpy. I'm not then. Oh, I'm sliding down. I'm going to be grumpy. No, Chesley, you don't want to be grumpy. You're just sliding down very easily, and you're going to bed. We love you. We'll see you next weekend, the Lord willing, Sunday afternoon around 4 o'clock. You be blessed.